Hello and welcome to another bad movie review. Today I want to talk about artificial brains and crazy mad scientists. That's right, today I watched Jesse James meets Frankenstein's daughter straight out of 1966. Jesse James, the outlaw, bank robber, murderer, and pretty much everything else you can imagine. Confederate soldier at one point is on the loose with his buddy Hank Tracy, and they're fleeing the law. Uh, this movie takes place sometimes after Jesse is allegedly killed in April of 1882. The exact date is never given, and it doesn't really matter since Jesse James was shot in the head in April of 1882, so it's a little ludicrous. But anyway, the uh, premise is that there's a... Be uh, a Blah, a botched bank robbery, or botched robbery of so, a uh, stagecoach, rather, um, with a group called the Wild Bunch. And Hank gets shot, and the only doctor around is a woman named Frankenstein in a nearby village. So, of course, that's where they're going. And everything goes to crap after that. Uh, basically, they hook up with this lady, Juanita, who takes them to the Frankenstein abode, which is a former missionary uh, establishment, former church, as it will. Um, and uh, Maria Frankenstein is there with her brother, Rudolph, who looks way older than her. And she's actually the granddaughter of the original Dr. Frankenstein, and they make reference to their father being a, some sort of academic research scientist in the field of resurrection or whatever so it's a little convoluted um allegedly this movie was filmed in about eight days and it was billed with uh billy the kid versus dracula as a double feature and it shows this is a pretty terrible film especially because it suffers from the effects of jesse james actually doesn't really do a whole lot in this he doesn't win the day. He doesn't really do anything except get chased around by people trying to collect a reward. Yeah, it's and I'm sorry, the acting is pretty terrible in this. It's for, for a Western horror, I had slightly higher expectations. I mean, the title alone makes it sound B movie grade, but wow. Uh, John Lupton, who plays. Jesse James does an okay job. He's standard fair TV actor from the 60s and 70s. So he does an okay job, but ooh, it gets a little rough in there with some of these performances. It is really over the top in spots. Uh, another problem I had with it was Jesse James was only 34 when he was killed by Robert Ford. And John Lupton looks a lot older than that. I mean, when it was this was filmed, he was... Right around 38, 39, but with the mustache, he looks significantly older than that. And it perpetuates the false myth that uh, Jesse James was a type of Robin Hood character. Um, that's been debunked numerous times as just dime novel fare. So that kind of annoyed me, because that that's just lazy research there. I mean, granted, this movie isn't exactly top-notch, but they could have taken a minute to read a biography written by a real historian. And the, the technology that Dr. Frankenstein has is well beyond the 1880s. Clearly 1950s technology at the latest. And you could notice some uh, pretty, I don't know glaring errors with some of the logic and they just start making crap up but it's got a little something for everyone it's got gunfights there's some indians there's mad science there's historical inaccuracy what more can you want in a western horror so actually i i recommend everybody see this movie at least once just because it's so bad it's it's worth seeing what not to do when making a movie and it, it could be, if you have a good group of people, it could be worth making fun of. Because it's so over the top. It starts off kind of standard western fare. Really low budget standard western fare. But it's got that spaghetti western feel. And then it just goes and takes a right turn into wacky land. And yeah, it's 
it's so bad that it's it's worth making fun of, but not a must own as far as like a quality B movie, but I found my copy in a 50 pack called Chilling Classics. And that made it worthwhile because this was like $10 for the whole 50 pack. And it's by Mill Creek Entertainment, one of my favorites for multi-pack entertainment. Um, it's got a girl on the cover that looks like she came out of the ring video. But uh, yeah, if, you, if you're looking for a multi-pack, find this one in a multi-pack. It's worth watching then because I won't pay more than a couple bucks to see it. It's pretty awful <laughs> on so many levels. Um, especially knowing that it was supposedly filmed in eight days that it, it really shows, but Hey, it had ponies in it and there was gunplay. So that kind of fulfilled if it was, if it had a robot and some explosions, I would be much happier with this film, but it doesn't. So, and the monster is pretty weak. Like they didn't even bother with a budget for makeup. So yeah, uh, check it out. Um, it might be worth a view, to, especially for mocking purposes. But beyond that, this is this is not Citizen Kane. It's just just a terrible movie. All right, and that'll wrap it up for t this one. Um, be sure to check out some of the other videos that we've done and uh, see what you think. And if you like what I have to say, just uh, hit that subscribe button and check out some more stuff we do. Thanks for listening. What you're going to do is insane. We shall soon see which one of us is insane.